Hi, my name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. All right, guys, I have an absolutely gorgeous backdraft racing 1965 Shelby Cobra up for grabs. Uh, these are hand built out of South Africa. This is one of the best fit and finish kits that you can buy in today's uh, standards. Uh, they come completely assembled from their factory minus the drivetrain so you can hand customize it. This particular one has just under 2,500 original miles on it guys. It's in excellent shape inside and out. You're really gonna like this one. Now guys, real quick before we get into the rest of the video, if you've been enjoying our YouTube videos, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click the bell icon, you'll get notified every time a new one gets posted. You don't want to miss out. We've got a lot of great cars coming in and out of this place. Uh, they go just as quick as they come in. So if you want to be the first to see it, beat everyone else, make sure you hit the bell. For the full photo shoot and write-up descriptions, you can visit volocars.com. There you can study the specs. You can take a look at our professional photos uh, or studio shots of these vehicles. We have in-depth close-ups of the engine bay, uh, interior, exterior, underneath the cars. Uh, there's a couple hundred, both modern muscle and classic cars. They're all for sale. It's highly addicting. Check it out, volocars.com. Uh, who knows? You could find your dream car up on that site, and then this... This could be you sitting in the driver's seat. Make sure to check it out. All right, let's get into it. So this is finished in the classic indigo blue with the dual white racing stripes on it. They are a glossy finish, so you can glide your hand smoothly across. There's no uh, tape line or anything like that. So they are glossed over. Uh, the cowl on the hood is removable as well. These have, so, listing off some factory specs. They call them an 18 inch knockoff wheel. They list that on their site like that. I don't know why they call it a knockoff. I think it's a reproduction. Uh, all the stainless and the chrome is nice and uh, in nice condition. There's no pitting, there's no curb rash, anything like that. It has those reproduction BF Goodrich uh, uh, all season tires on them. They are nice and meaty. They have plenty of tread. Uh, overall, this thing's gorgeous. There's just a couple, you know, nicks or uh, stone chips in the front. Other than that, the paint is in really nice shape. All the quick jack bumpers have a very nice finish on it. The bezels on the turn signals and the brake lamps as well. Uh, the stainless steel gas cap as well as the roll bar in really nice shape. They have a nice shine to them. Uh, same with the wheels on this side. Very nicely done. They sparkle. They pop off that dark indigo blue. Uh, this color is really gorgeous. It brightens up in the sunlight, so it has a depth to it. Uh, these have the beautiful four to one stainless steel headers on it with the exhaust shield, so you don't get that snake bite getting in and out of the car. Uh, underneath the car, guys, they do a very nice job. This has drop kit steel floors in it. Uh, so these, these cabs are very, very roomy. It's one of the largest cabs on a, a Shelby Cobra. Uh, the whole frame, again, powder coated very nicely. It's all nicely structured together. Uh, this uh, does sit on independent coilover spring suspension with front and rear disc brakes. Uh, these have a 355 rear end gear with a Ford 88 uh, rear end in them. So very fun to drive, uh, nice and nimble yet firm. Let's take a look inside. All right, guys, so coming into the interior on the Cobra, again, when I say fit and finish is very nice, I mean it. Look at all the leather, the side map uh, pockets on the doors. It even has a leather strap on the handle so you can open and close this with ease or lock and unlock it, I should say. Uh, they do a reproduction wood grain Cobra steering wheel. It's a little bit smaller, so it gives you that nice, tight, turning feeling on it. Uh, everything works on here, guys. All the gauges. It's a classic seven gauge setup. Uh, again, everything's working. The horn, the turn signals, uh, the windshield wipers, the headlights work as well. Uh, all the gauges are working. So very nicely done. It has that soft leather finish. 
even the seats are the Cobra reproduction, but they have a nice soft leather. Uh, if you notice, the driver's seat is turned a little bit. That's to align you up better with the pedals. If you've ever driven one of these, uh, when you sit in them, you'll realize the cab or the driver's side of the cab, the pedals are offset from the, from the seat. Well, turning the seat just a little like that is gonna line you up, giving you a more comfortable drive uh, while you're driving it. In the center, you have that classic five-speed Cobra shift knob, uh, shifter with the long pedal on it. It does have a reverse lockout as well, which is nice, so you can't accidentally go into the wrong gear. Uh, we have a nice mini chrome uh, fire extinguisher. You never know when those could come in handy, so very nice to have. Uh, obviously, it does have the tinted sun visors and the wing windows as well. Uh, the glass is in really nice shape. Even the dash, the paint on the, on the dash here, it's all smooth and glossy. There's no scratches, anything like that. Being a single roll bar, uh, it does have a four-point harness in it. So the shoulder straps are in the trunk, actually, and you can remove them uh, with a quick release on these hooks. So here's the passenger side bolted in the back. We have the stainless steel handbrake with the nice leather boot around it as well. So very nicely done by Backdraft. Uh, all the carpeting fits nice and tight. It's form fitting to the car. They do a nice little leather trim or piping on, on the carpet as well. It has some nice Cobra floor mats. So very presentable uh, inside and out. Uh, there is also, I just noticed, there's some clear uh, shields on the inner of the the door jams guys so when you close the door it's not going to scratch the paint here's that leather handle strap i was talking about releases it nice and easy so you don't have to fumble with the little leather or lever um, just little nice ties that they do uh, you also have a battery shut off right at ease in between uh, the seats so you don't have to climb underneath or get in the trunk and disconnect the battery when you're not driving this so this is a small enough car to fit you know, in your garage or in your living room even, this is a beautiful showpiece, or take it out and drive it, whatever you wanna do. Moving on to the trunk area, you know, it's just, like I said, the little things that make this quality over above other kits. Uh, they add a lockable, adjustable bar here to hold the trunk prop. Uh, you can see the roll bar that goes all the way down it's bolted to the actual frame of the car uh, through the through the chassis so it's not fake um, so they actually do serve a purpose in the center there is a nice battery tie down with a red top optima battery here's those harness straps i was talking about guys uh, all the weather stripping still soft there's no cracks or anything like that so very nice finish all the carpet again nice and form fitting in here just as nice as the cab area of the car. Uh, so they don't skip any little detail uh, anywhere on a single inch of this car. Pop the hood and it's, it's a show car guys. They do stainless steel cladding on the inside of the fender wells. Uh, just, again, just little ties like that. It shines it up in here. We have those stainless steel uh, four to one headers on it. This does have a 302 Windsor block that's been rebuilt. Uh, there is, I believe, a smaller, um, it's an X cam is what I was told that is in this. So it has a nice low lope to it. We have the March polished pulley system with the alternator bracket. Uh, this does have Adelbrock Aluminum heads, aluminum racing heads with the Ford Racing valve covers on it, the 302 valve covers. I like this air cleaner. I like the triangle shape on it. It's nice and small, but still presentable. Uh, it allows you to see the MSD ignition and the Holly carb underneath it. And then they do a nice job with the fuel pressure regulator bracket. So everything's tied in nicely. All the stainless steel braided lines, uh, they even loom it real nicely too so there's not a bunch of exposed wires anywhere anything like that take a look at the powder coated frame uh, and they have their build tag as well right here so backdraft racing hand built with attitude by tr tech south africa and then they have the vin under it as well so very nice little ties uh, we have a 
a polished uh, stainless coolant reservoir up top. You have a nice manual rack underneath. Look at the powder coating on the frame, guys. It's not chipped away. There's no corrosion, anything like that. This thing is show car worthy. It is very, very clean. I forgot to talk about the transmission. So mated to the 302 is a TKO 600 five-speed trans, classic Cobra transmission. Then we have a uh, dual electric fan hooked up to the radiator. So you can turn them on and off with a toggle switch in the cab as well as the fuel pump. So very nicely done by backdraft. really is a showpiece guys um, we took it down the road and people already sticking their hands out the window giving us a thumbs up and just drooling over this car uh, so anyway that was my impression on our backdraft 1965 Cobra if you guys are interested in purchasing this you can visit volocars.com there, if you click the Buy It Now button, it'll secure a refundable deposit on this car. Uh, we can help set up financing and shipping that way as well. It's super easy. We can get this delivered right to your driveway for a low monthly payment, volocars.com. Or you can call us, ask for me, Caleb. I'd be more than happy to talk over the car some more with you. I can also set up financing and shipping that way as well. So thanks for checking it out. I'll let you drill over it a little bit more as it turns around the table.